Welcome to SJC Content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, Assistant Professor in Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous. In this video, I am going to teach torsion and pendulum. Torsion and pendulum is nothing but, suppose your wire is clamped at the top. The bottom end, this is the bottom end, carries a disc of moment of inertia I. The disc is rotated through an angle theta. Here the angular velocity is omega. Here I is the moment of inertia. About the axis of wire. Moment of inertia of the disc. About the axis of the wire. The wire is twisted through an angle theta and then released. So the disc exhibits torsional oscillation. Like this the disc will oscillate. It will go through and come back. This is the torsional oscillation. From this oscillation we can find out the time period of the oscillation. That is expression for time period. of oscillation of torsional pendulum torsion to find the time period we have to consider the energy of this system the entire system is called a torsion pendulum the potential energy tension energy equal to the potential energy is nothing but total work done through displace the disc through an angle theta that is equal to of C theta square. Here C is the torque per unit test and theta angular displacement or otherwise angle of twist. Then kinetic energy. Is equal to of I omega square. Here I is the moment of inertia. Energy of the disc about the axis and omega is the angular velocity. The total energy of the system. Total energy of the system equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy equal to a constant. So potential energy equal to half C theta square plus kinetic energy of I omega square equal to a constant. Differentiating this equation with respect to 
time p we are getting half into c into 2 theta d theta by dt plus this is equal to before going to differentiate we have to substitute omega equal to d theta by dt so half into i into here we have a d theta by dt instead of so 2 into d theta by dt into d square theta by dt square and substituting omega we get d theta by dt the whole square applying power rule and then we are differentiating we get which is equal to and differentiating the constant we get 0. Simplifying this equation and we get taking out the d theta by dt as common d theta by dt equal to c theta plus i into d square theta by dt square equal to 0. And multiplying d theta by d2 into 0, we get 0 here. So, we get c theta plus i into d square theta by dt square equal to 0. Rewriting i d square theta by dt square plus c theta equal to 0. So the equation i into d square theta by dt square plus c theta equal to 0. Divide i throughout the equation. So we get d square theta by dt square plus c divided by i into theta equal to 0. This is the equation for simple harmonic motion. Above equation for simple harmonic motion. The time period. The time period T. T equal to 2 pi in root of 1 by mu, where u is the acceleration per unit angular displacement. Here u takes the form c by i. c divided by i. So the time period t equal to 2 pi root of 1 by c by i. So simply find t equal to 2 pi root of i by c. This is the expression for time period of the torsional pendulum. Thank you.